how bad I am at the game. I need that stick to shoot, man. Stop. Stop talking about the stick. That's just leave it right there. Leave it right there. Look, you see me, Mr. Lob on the break wide open. I can't even catch that. This is how bad I am. I need every advantage I need. So let it long, just like everybody else. Hey, guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good morning out there, 2K land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with this tweet from that boy, John Bridgeforth, man. Cool dude, man. My guy, yo guy. And he updated that pick, man. Hey, that man about to get... Boy, hey, John. Like, hey, check it out. Check it out, my boy. And he updated that. He updated the pick, man. So look, look. I was like, bro, who is this? Hey, that man went from the cleanest of cuts. You know what I'm talking about? To tell you, you know, he got a little guy. He, he had the clean cut. And then he got the little mustache with a little, a little bit more hair. Hey, he's straight wild, man, with it right now. Well, I feel you, my boy. Hey, boy, next thing you know, you got the beard. His beard might be better than mine. Go ahead and get them dreads, man. What he's talking about? But anyway, man, I'm just messing with you, man. But this dude, man, he said, tell a guy they suck at NBA 2K25. Now they want to compare bank accounts. My guy, I don't care if you're Elon Musk. You're not good at the game. And that's something that people get in their feelings about all the time and stuff like that. We're going to talk about stuff like that and some more things in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all, man. Listen, bro. I'm going to need y'all to do better, bro. I need y'all to do better. I, I've been, the last few days I'm struggling. I need people to play this game with. I'm trying to level up and get my guys so I can get my cap breakers and get my, my perimeter defense on up. I need y'all to come through and play the game with your boy because I'm tired of playing with randoms and getting sold. And y'all know that randoms are better than they have ever been on this game like right now, randoms are better than they have ever been. And I don't know why it is or why every random is 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 doggone dimes or whatever like that, bro. But I'm telling y'all, randoms are better than they ever been. And and I and when I'm go out there, man, I I I just need some help. I'm gonna need some help, man. And they they better than they ever been to the point where that boy TJ, he just literally said, Boy, 2K25 is the first is the first 2K where casualties can compete with casuals can compete with comp. He said, Do 2K23 next gen and 2K24 were the first ones, dude. You trip. He said, 2K23, 2K24, you literally could obviously, you literally could obviously tell the better players with 2K25, the smallest skill gap uh, out of any. And then uh, he said, Hey, man, if, if I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in dog fights with bombs because stuff like this happens consistently. And you know, this is what he's showing right here. Yeah, exactly right there. I don't know if it is like this is one of them things where they tried to raise the skill gap, man. Um, and that kind of put us where we are. Like when you raise the skill gap too much, if it's too hard for every not skill gap, you raise the difficulty level too much, then it's gonna be too hard for everybody. And thus, uh, thus, you know, it's gonna be like like when 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 everybody what it say uh, what syndrome says when everybody's super, nobody will be man. So when it's hard for everybody, it's easy for nobody, man. It's just like dang, like. I don't know, man. It's it's one of them things where, where I can tell y'all that that's absolutely correct, bro. It's like every game I'm playing, I haven't played. I don't feel like I've played anybody that didn't know what they were doing in this game yet. And I don't know if it's because of skill based matchmaking, and I don't know if it's because of that's just how they intended for the game to be or if it's because the game is hyper difficult, or it's just the fact that you have to play this game a different way and like playing a team oriented game where you're very organized and you're doing certain things. It just doesn't lend itself to this game as much as the chaotic running around and just doing, ooh, what is that? Shit out here, nigga. The chaotic running around and just getting open and doing stuff part of this game is like, this game is like, like if you're slowing it down and, and playing offense, sometimes it, it it's it it's a more of a detriment than just going and and doing stuff like that, like quick hitters or whatever like that. So it really depends, I suppose, man. I don't know. Um, I really don't know what it is about this game that lends itself to where like like and like it could be the bad interior, it could be anything, but I I really don't know. But it just feels like the organized gameplay, unless both teams are playing organized. It really feels like that that the team that's playing chaotic may have the may have the advantage if you don't have your rotations in switch. Like you got to be ultra organized to beat one of those teams now, because the team that's just back door, back door, back door, back door, back door, 
it, it's it's hard to beat them if you're not if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Because it's, those back doors are eventually going to turn to people trying to help you and cheat down and go for three. Hey, this is happening to the point where that boy Spam 101 says, as a unit, we need to stop giving out tutorials, jump shots on YouTube. These randoms, these randoms are too good. And he's not, he say, but, but he said, but you're supposed to be looking out, man. Listen, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. These randoms are good, bro. Like everybody, like it, I, this year I've played more no name people that have just completely came in and been prepared to do everything. I, I played more no no name people that that just was that was that were good than any other year in uh, in 2K, bro. And I'm not talking about no name people like that. I'm just saying, like my boy Rampage said, man, he said it best. Hey, man, there's some motherfuckers that play this game that's good too. They just don't stream or do any of that stuff, man. Trade ball. Bang bang! Y'all see me out there? Stop! But I, 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 you gotta take that thing and put it in your pocket sometime, man. Hold up, we got that. Bang bang! There we go. But like, listen, man, it, it, it just is what it is. Up next, and this is really what it is. A hey, theater two times rep is 10k stage game every. Is a 10k stage game every game, man. He said, honestly, skill based matchmaking is good for the game. Hear me out. I'm a red plate, and I hate sweating in the wreck. Uh, sweating in wreck or threes late nights. Late nights when I'm just trying to chill with my bros, but. It also isn't fair for a black for a black or brown place to sit through 25 minutes of wreck uh, of a wreck game getting flooded by people obviously better than them. Like so, I, I don't get mad at it, man. I welcome the competition. I'm a glutton for punishment, though. That's what I have to. That's what I have to realize. I'm a glutton for punishment, and not everybody wants the smoke all the time. Like we played some games yesterday in the wreck, and we were one or two possessions away from um from winning those games. I feel like, you know, we'd have played better. We could have done, you know, it's like a turnover here, a turnover there. Like them dudes, like one game team shot like eight free throws or something like that. That was the difference in the game. And what is the difference in, in that? It's something like this right here, a blocking foul or a reach here, a reach there, things like that. The games are coming down to the very small things, man. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to be on the wrong side of it. So I just feel like, yo, you got to play the game the right way or a certain way this year. And if you don't, it's going to be difficult on you. Up next, that boy Laker fan says, hey, this is the most important 2K of all time to have interior defense. That's a fact. Shooting is difficult. Post scoring is powerful. And the ratings, uh, the, the ratings, a.k.a. statributes, and the uh, ratings it's, itself makes a massive difference. Could it? Uh, couldn't ever possibly be more important. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. It can't. It can't be more important than it is now. But at the same time, uh, your height matters a lot. Cause I see Gambit. Gambit got 75 interior, and he is. He he's got 75 interior. He's like a seven footer, and he gets way more stops than people that are like 16 that are that I uh that have like 88 interior. Now he does have a very high block. So I'm gonna try to use that template when I make my guy, cause I do need to make a center. But uh, I think I'm gonna go with like 75 interior and then use my cap breakers to get me to the next level. Or maybe I use my cap breakers to get my rebounding up to where, where I want it to be. But one of those, one of the things that with this game is you do definitely have to, and I done graded my dude out already. 15 points in the fourth, in the first quarter. I didn't see the ball the rest of the game. Let me just tell y'all that. So it, it, it just is what it is. But yeah, he plays with 75 interior and a high block. You got one of they both and strength though, but they have to be you. You gotta have a like you gotta have like two out of three at least. So you're gonna have to have a high block and high strength, and, or or high interior and high block or high interior and high strength, and then you cannot you know your block cannot be there. But you gotta have one of them. Two of them gotta be really high, and then the uh, the other one can be down, man. Up next, hey, we got that boy Solo saying, hey, there will be a change to skill based matchmaking in NBA 2K25 soon, man. Listen, man. I really don't care, bro. Like, if you out there trying to get max rep and you fighting for rep, and like you're gonna get more rep because you're playing better players, and then the guys that are that are that are not so good are getting regular rep. Like, bro, it doesn't matter to me. To me, I just feel like I just want to play the game, bro. That's that's really it. I want to play the game. I do want to play better players. I do want to get better, but I do understand that I also play with people sometimes. Like, like my subs might come in and they not they not trying to sweat like that. So that's just one of those things. They might not be trying to sweat like this right here because Key Stick said, "Man, how can you make this ten times in a row?" And uh, you know they're trying to say it's rhythm shooting, bro. Rhythm. I mean, I mean post scoring and stuff. This stuff like stuff like this been happening before rhythm shooting, bro. He is using rhythm shooting now. Don't get me wrong. But bro, dude, stuff like this been happening. Post scores been been post hooking forever, bro. Like it's always been like that. Now they're probably going to fix this or whatever, uh, or do something about it. But 
I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it too. I'm not gonna lie. And then my guy, and then RC he came back and he said he is six six. Uh, he's, he's, he put it up there, six six max wingspan, and he hit uh at least five reds doing this. And uh, like I said, bro, would you rather he just post hook you or something? I don't know because this has always been in the game. Like this is, this is, this, it's always been like this. It, I guess it just looks different now. I don't know, but like. Dudes would like, he, would you want him to just drop step you or whatever? Like, cause he could definitely do that. It just looks different now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I don't like it either, but it just looks different now. It's the same thing it's always been. It just looks different. We've been complaining about post defense for years. People been saying it's straight for years. Hey, now we just reaping the rewards or reaping the, the benefits. Hey, but we're gonna get over it though, man. Hopefully, hopefully they will tune it or do something with it, but you definitely gotta have some interior defense. Look at me get a ball up, man. I, I don't even try to do stuff like that. Up next, hey, Coster says, I can't stand creators who defend 2K all because they want logos. MS really acting like 2K25 is a 10 out of 10 and there's no issues with it. Stop selling out and glazing for the community, uh, for the community invite. It's annoying AF. Let me tell y'all what, man. I'm gonna tell y'all when the game came out that very first week I played, I played, uh, 40 hours straight of proving grounds and i said what i said and i was like y'all not gonna be y'all not gonna be fucking with the game a month in and this is gonna happen and that we're gonna y'all know what y'all told me shut the fuck up shut the fuck up the game is perfect jay you're just not good okay fine bro and then now all that stuff where did it bring you back to me i already told y'all what time it was but i just told y'all this is what i do i know that i play the game i do i do well uh i make a little cash off of it man but the main thing i do do with this man is just i just i play the game because i love basketball and i'm gonna entertain y'all man and that's really it so once i said what i said i was done i, I didn't like i told y'all i was saying stuff about the game speed the movement all that stuff there's no delineation between characters and speed and stuff like that i got a 90 speed and half the time i can't tell it and your 90 speed is completely put in the dirt and neutralized when you go play uh proven grounds and that's the slowest game in the in you know game mode. like i told y'all all this stuff man and everybody said that i was complaining to being a baby so hey it is what it is man get what you asked for get it because you asked for it i don't care about what they say man i told y'all that i see this stuff way faster than other people and people think that i'm crazy because i can almost i see things to the point where i can almost see the future and uh you know when when they don't see a problem they're gonna think you crazy when you see a problem just like i'm building the i'm out here doing this and 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 battening down for a hurricane and stuff like that and they telling me that there ain't no hurricane coming meanwhile my sister works for the 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 weather the the weather of uh, uh you know the weather people and she told me the hurricane was coming two weeks ago so you know it is what it is man up next hey should lane steals be patched a resounding it i don't give a single solitary mother what they do bro i don't care just leave the game how it is bro because you're not gonna be it look the steals that should be patched the ones I don't get the steals that I feel like I should get, but I get every steal that I feel like I just pressed the button and I got no business getting. Now, I don't care if they pass the lane steals. If I could pass fake and then the next steal that you try to get, you are severely punished, then I would be fine. But dudes, literally, it's just like my boy Coyote said years ago, people are not trying to steal the ball. They're pressing the button just because a pass happened. Not because a pass happened toward them, but just because a pass happened. And then like that right there. See, stuff like that, bro. Look, this guy, this guy. Now, I know what we're going to say. But look, bro, like this is this is the problem right here with this. I don't care about him stealing the ball. Dude shouldn't have thrown the ball. But this is what's going on. His He's facing this way, running this way. Then he stopped in the game. This is what he pressed the button. The game stopped his momentum and turned him. He did not do this. Y'all are probably thinking that that he he turned and ran and got in front. No, that's not what happened. He is running this way. He pressed the button and then it it pulled him over there. So that's what we talking about. Stuff like that. Like those steals right there like the Deion Sanders stuff like that dude is clear. Like, and then why why is the player why is the player being carried down here if he's throwing the ball and he's throwing it he's throwing it around i'm, I'm assuming that once he got it let's, let's we're gonna look at it one more time we're assuming that when he got it he's thinking he's gonna catch the ball around here when he throws it right let's see where the ball where he catches it he's beyond half court 
He's gonna go down. He's gonna catch it down that damn near on the hash. It's like the game augments what's happened, the reality for the steal to happen. They've decided the steal is going to happen and they 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 augment the reality accordingly. And it just says, hey, make sure you choose, make sure you use my bro. Get out of here, man. It says slight nerf. Yes, they still have to happen, but at more reasonable levels and then tech says say only if you only if you're uh under 91 steel because obviously i have 91 steel i'm sleep bro look I, I really don't care what they do with the steels bro we just have to make make uh better passes and do whatever if they don't change if they change obviously they're gonna change because everybody's crying everybody <laughs> they gotta change the steels they gotta do this listen man the one steel that they do really have to do something about i want i will tell you this if they change one steel it'll change the landscape of the game. And that's when you receive the ball or get a rebound or the screen turning steal. Like, you know, the steal, I call it a steal steal. Like I made a good play and stole the ball from you. So you just hit the button and then it just allows you to steal the ball from me. That If they take that away, then people won't try to, ooh, I got me one. Hold on one second. Then, then people won't be trying to pass the ball so quickly on rebounds and stuff. And then I think that a lot of it will take care of itself. Up next, that boy Chalk said, this is the issue that I have with rhythm shooting in NBA 2K25. It is nearly impossible for guards to use it. So spot ups with 70 to 80 three-point rating, that's you're not shooting it with that. I'm just going to tell you like that unless you got a very high midi, but I, I digress. Uh, ratings get a 70% bigger green window than guards with a 90 plus logically it doesn't make sense so it really doesn't work like that it's it's 70 percent bigger than it normally would be right but if you got a 94 three ball or a 99 three ball bro ooh, Shit out here, nigga. if you got a 94 three ball or a 95 three ball i guarantee that your green window even with the boost from the uh from the from the shot stick it's still gonna be larger than that brute got a 99 three man and he just he can shoot better than I can, even with the stick. Like I have to use the stick just to try to keep up with his 99 three ball, but he can take shots that I can't because we don't get the badges. We don't get this, we don't get that. Uh, so it's a lot of things that goes into that. He says that hey, for anyone that keeps saying that uh, I run guard and I use it, I'll wager you and spread um, with the spread to help you to help you just so you can see how good, how, how impossible it is versus anyone with the brain. You're not getting a shot off a shot on a two or four or a three or four speed off on good players that's true so like if you want to use the four or four speed the fastest speed you can't use the stick with the fastest speed i'm gonna tell you that right now we've tried it we're not successful so if you want to use one of them shots you're really not going to be eligible for it you have to use a lower speed shot or what have you and i think they compensate for that by allowing you to hit some shots that you normally wouldn't hit because you normally wouldn't even be able to get them off because a lot of times the stick malfunction you can't even get the shot off but i see what he's saying so it's not impossible for guards to use it with uh with time and in practice it'll be uh it'll be good only thing that that's annoying for me is it sometimes randomly glitch a very late exactly and sometimes it won't go off at all and he says uh, and he says uh there is less than a zero percent chance that you're using the stick in any game modes uh in any game modes let alone competitive on four out of four speed correct you're not going to use it on four out of four speed the other guy the only only guys i've seen that are able to shoot decent decently with it have turned the speed down which is impossible in competitive play but uh like like you said but you play with swag godly though and swag godly uses it and he uses the stick bro so i mean you can you just ain't gonna use it on guard it's just like if i'm catching shoot i got catch and shoot right uh, you got badges that's gonna help you. I got badges that'll help me. So you got things that are gonna help you. I don't have nothing to help me get open except for you getting me open, right? So like, I, I get it, but everything, even the stick is not, is not usable in all situations. Like it's still situational. Sometimes, like I had a game winner, Brute hit me in the corner. I shot it and walked off. I knew I couldn't use the stick because I knew if I did, it was gonna malfunction and I was gonna miss the shot. So I just shot it with the button, man. So the stick is not applicable in every situation, just like the button didn't uh, for me, but I feel it right there. He said, for anybody, that's okay, what he said, he's he gonna wage it, man. That boy C67 said, hey, stick shooting gives you the biggest boost in the game. <laughs> you stupid for not using it, this me. He said, I don't I don't really care, man. Hey, it is what it is, man, I get it, bro. If, you, if it's not for you, it's not for everybody. It's just not. It's like, it's just not for everybody. So I understand if you don't want to use it, but don't have no animosity to somebody that needs to use like me. I suck, all right? I'm just trash at the game, so I need every boost I can get. Let me have my boost and you get your 99.3. Look at this. I can't even catch a lob on the break. Like, this is how bad I am at the game. I need that stick to shoot, man. Stop. Stop.
not talking about the stick. Let's just leave it right there. Leave it right there. Look, you see me, Mr. Lob on the break wide open. I can't even catch that. This is how bad I am. I need every advantage I need. So let it alone, just like everybody else needs. Up next, that boy Cole, the man said, hey, man, skill based bass making has taught me to take my L's on the chin and move on. And that's absolutely correct because you're going to take some L's out here, man. You're not going to win everything. And last but not least, Lily says, hey, I be, I've been saying I've been saying the paint defense was not great since uh, since before 2K25 came out, reminiscent of how 2K23 next gen interior defense uh, defense did not exist because hands up did nothing and chase downs are rare. So chase downs are very rare in this game, man. Unless you're me, because every time I go for a dunk or something and somebody's on my back, is just. <laughs> Like, that's exactly what happens, but I definitely understand what she's saying. They are very rare. On this game, though, you have to change how your hands up is. You have to use it. The, the, so there's two ways that you can do hands up. It's one where if they're coming at you, you push the stick toward them or pull it straight down or whatever, and it'll jump. But it's, but it's going to, like what Mike said, it's going to jump even when you don't want to. And then the other one is going to be uh, the hands up where you just wall up, which is, for all intents and purposes, normally useless in this game. But it is what it is. I digress. There are a lot of issues with the game. There are a lot of things that need to be addressed. There are a lot of things that need to be fixed. I told y'all this two weeks ago or three weeks ago when it came out two days in after I played 40 hours of proving ground. It's very impossible. It's nearly impossible to play defense. You can't get a lot of bumps if the person knows what they're doing. Uh, 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 the game has a lot of glitchy stuff in it. <laughs> Shooting was was not the greatest, but we're going to learn that all this stuff I said we'll learn to deal with. But everybody told me I was crazy. So, hey. Keep riding with it because we're going to keep riding with how it is. It is what it is, man. Get, like I said, leave it how it is. We'll figure it out. And we're just going to keep playing, man. I'm going to take my L's. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to complain. I told y'all what I the issues that I had with it on those. If you want to see it, go to that video. But otherwise, we're going to keep rolling because that's for me and mine. We're going to play this motherfucker, and I'm just going to leave it right there. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.